What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So as far as the white shark goes, I've been driving it a little bit just up and down the road. Last night I went out and I came back and I smelt fuel and I popped the hood, checked it out and it looks like two of the injectors are leaking that the guy, the previous owner replaced with a cheap Chinese knockoffs. So what I'm going to do today is I got to run into town, see if I can find a good use set. I really only need three. He only replaced the three injectors that are under the throttle body, the ones you don't have to take the whole manifold off for. He replaced those three. So I'm going to go see if I can find three OEM injectors. We're going to swap those in. And another thing that's kind of weird with them, after I drive it and turn the truck off, I can hear them. It's almost It almost sounds like they're leaking either externally or maybe into the motor. So that might be causing some of my idle issues and some of my restart problems too. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to, to restart. Sometimes it's instantly. But either way, I'm pretty sure those injectors just aren't working like they should. They're just cheapo, so I wanna get those changed out for some OEM ones today. It is pretty early right now in the morning, so nobody's open yet. So what I think I'm gonna start with is some interior stuff. So this thing is kind of halfway taken apart and I do want to find carpet for it. I'm, I'm going to have to scour the junkyards and see if I can find some carpet. But for now, what I think I'm going to do is paint all this black and I'll, I'm just going to repaint it black, but this whole trim piece here on the cluster and then the radio surround here, I'm going to mask this off and repaint this black. All the gray seems to be in pretty good shape, but seems like all these Toyotas, the black starts to f fall off and just kind of fade and look like crap. So we're gonna we're gonna clean this up. We'll pull that out, clean it up, and I'll show you the best paint I found for interior plastics. It looks factory. It's very strong and works really good. So let's get this ripped off. We'll get it cleaned up and get ready to paint it. I got these all scuffed up, cleaned up. So while that's drying off, what I gotta do is swap out this whole HVAC unit in the dash. So the switch itself is all busted up, doesn't work. A lot of the cables are, uh, I don't know, the guy installed them wrong and half of them, like this one, I can't even get to move at all. So I just bought a whole new HVAC with all the cables. So we just gotta go in underneath the dash where they all the cables connect disconnect those pull it out we'll swap the new one in All right, we got this all hooked up. Everything's working, so stoked about that. All the cables, everything works, switch works. So next thing we gotta do is, I wanna swap out this antenna. So here's the antenna, the same one I put on the, on the uh, red truck. There's the part number. I'll have it linked down in the description if you wanna check it out. So let's go slap this bad boy on.
All right guys, these are all dried up, ready to go for paint. So this Sam Color Co is the best paint I've ever used for plastic. It makes it look factory, original, and it's very, very strong paint. So I'll have that linked in the description as well if you wanna check that out. So we're just gonna do a couple light coats on it and I'll show you how good it looks. There it is guys, I'll paint it up. So you can see this stuff, like I said, it looks factory. It really, really does look good. So we're gonna get all these switches back in and then we can throw this interior back together. All right guys, there it is. Dash is all back together, looking really good. So the next thing I want to tackle is the shifter. So the guy welded on some extensions, well, some rod or whatever, extended these things way up and obviously didn't position them right. I can't even get into reverse barely. It hits the other shifter. So I'm about to pull these off and shorten them up and then make sure they actually clear each other. So let's get these ripped out. The nice thing about these shifters is they they come out without unbolting the uh, actual shifter from the tranny. So what you can do on the transfer case, you see that clip right here. All you do is pull that out and the shifter pops out. And then the front, the actual tranny shifter, it's just got this collar with that uh, little ramp there. So you basically press it down and spin it and then it pops up and then this shifter completely comes out. So very simple to pull out. You don't have to unbolt everything. So let's get these things cut down and actually working.
There we go guys, shifters are cut down, clearing each other. We got about an inch of clearance there. So these are just tacked together for now. So you got plenty of clearance. So I'm gonna pull these out, fully weld them in, throw a little bit of paint on them just to keep them from rusting and we can throw it all back together and be done. go all done up not hitting each other so now I just got to get the boot on but I got to go get some uh, little inserts for the screws so I can screw the boot back on hey guys look what showed up we got a new set of hubs these ones are nice and tight and good to go so what we're gonna do clean them all up and obviously the outsides a little uh, crusty so we'll get them cleaned up and put some paint on them and then we can throw them on the truck so another one of you guys sent over those hubs, Nate Diller, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all you guys, especially the guys hooking me up with parts. A lot of you we don't even want anything for them. Either way, I'm still sending you stuff. So I really, really appreciate all you guys' help with the parts, for watching the videos. Like I said, I can't do this without you guys watching the video. So I really appreciate all the support. So let's get these hubs all cleaned up. We'll throw some paint on them and we'll throw them on the truck. guys got everything cleaned up so I'm just gonna give these a quick sandblast just clean them up and then we'll prime them paint them and then we can throw the hubs back on the truck Alright guys, we're going to get these hubs back together, so I'm going to go a little bit more in depth on how to put them together. I know I just kind of did time lapse on taking them apart, but what you want to do is you'll take this hub here and it goes in the back of this, obviously, like so, and then this clip will go in this little groove here, but before I do that, I'm going to coat the entire inside of the hub with some grease. You can just use regular wheel bearing grease. So we'll coat that and we'll stick this in. Now the next thing we're gonna do is grease the inside of this outer hub and then make sure you got your O-ring and you can put a little bit of grease on that O-ring as well. And then when you take it apart, make sure you don't lose the little ball and spring that go right in he this hole here. And that basically locks the hub in place or the dial in place. So let's get grease on it and then we can get this in. Now 
But there we are, we got both done. So make sure they spin nice and smooth. Then the next thing we can do is get the spring and this on, but the spring is actually has a bigger diameter on one side. So find the side that fits nice and snug around that outer collar here. If you go flip it around, you can see that side's pretty loose. So we'll stick the smaller side onto this dial here, and then you'll want to grease along the bottom inside here grease these ramps right here and then we can get the spring on and how this clips in is there's these two tabs on the inside that you depress into this little groove here and then spin it around onto the ramps so you just press down here spin it lock it in and then that's the uh unlocked position that's the lock position so we'll take this part grease it all up and uh, get these on. There we go guys, so now we just wanna grease this dial here, grease the inside of the hub, and then we can throw them on the truck. There we go guys, hubs are all done. Working good, looking good. So huge thanks to you, Nate. Appreciate you sending those out. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I was planning on doing the injectors, but I went to town, I called everywhere, I could not find any local. And I made a post on YouTube looking for some and actually one of you guys had a set, so they sent them out, they're on their way, they're gonna be here, so once we get those in, We'll throw them in the truck and see how it runs with those new injectors. So I'm gonna wrap up the video right here, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.